things. Uh, proportional parts, parallel lines, all right? So all I want to go over, guys, this is very similar to that mid-segment. But if we have A, B, C, D, E, F. The main important thing, guys, is I want you to understand is when you have parallel lines, you have to understand there's going to be opportunities, Shayla, for us to be able to see relationships within the parallel lines, all right? So we got to be able to look, Caleb, and see how are these parallel lines or what can we do with them because you're going to have problems and you're going to have multiple parallel lines. So one thing I want you guys to understand is when you have parallel lines and you have transversals, you have proportionality, hence the proportional parts of parallel lines. So what this is saying is between parallel lines, we have proportions, meaning AC is proportional to CE is equal to the ratio of BD over DF. So this side is proportional, is rate, that side's ratio with that side is proportional to that side's ratio with that side. They're equal, all right? So once you have an equal proportion justice, then we know we can solve by using you know, our cross product and so forth, all right? But that's going to help us, and that's going to allow us to solve some of these problems, all right? So that ratio with that is, is equal to that over that, all right? Oh, you want that back? <laughs>